Hello! In this video we're going to continue our example of uh, quartiles. And again, as I mentioned in the previous video, quartiles are really just the percentile it's the percentiles that divide a sample into quarters. So and divide the sample into quarters. And so we could really think about this as, as in any distribution ranging from um, 0 to 100 percent. There's going to be three quartiles in here that divide this into four, fourths or, or four different equal size sections. And that would be the 25th percentile, the 50th percentile, and the 75th percentile. And these correspond to values uh, or quartiles, so we can think of this as being the first quartile, the second, and this would be the third. And sometimes people will reserve, refer to the zero quartile here. This is the low value, and then, and then uh, the fourth quartile value up here. This is actually the high value in the distribution. But the important ones are the first, second, and third quartiles, which correspond to the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles. So in the last example you saw how to find the quartile values uh, using a frequency distribution table and uh, cumulative frequencies. Uh, in this video we're going to cover a little more refined method of doing this um, using the interpolation method that we used for finding percentile values. And so we'll start with an array of data um, and let's say we had values uh, 12, 21, uh, 37, 45, 50, 90, and 95. Okay, and so now we've got this array of data uh, and we can see that our sample size n is equal to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, so we've got an n of 7. And what we want to do is we want to find the first, second, and third quartiles or the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles. And so to do that, using our percentile method, uh, we can calculate, we'll start off by calculating the rank or position for each quartile. And you'll remember that the rank is calculated as the percentile divided by 100 times n, or sample size, small n minus 1, plus 1. Okay, and so to do that, uh, let's go ahead and start. We'll start with our 25th percentile. Let's say, let's look for the 25th percentile, or Q1. Okay, and we'll find our position here. This is going to be um, 25 divided by 100 times 7 minus 1 plus 1. And if you do that, that's uh, 0.25 times 6, which is 1.5 plus 1, gives us 2.5. And so we know that our 25th percentile, or Q1, is going to be located somewhere uh, between the second and third observation. And it, more importantly, it's actually half the distance, or 0.5 of the distance, from the second to the third observation. So that here's the second 21 and here's the third 37. And so uh, Q1 is somewhere in here. Okay, so to find Q1 then we can come back and we will multiply 0.5 since we're looking for half the distance between the third observation 37 and minus the second observation which is 21. So that'll get us the, the distance from the second to third observation and we'll multiply that by 0.5 and we'll come up with 8 which means then that Q1 or quartile 1 is going to be equal to the second observation, remember we're half the distance between the second and third, so it's the second observation 21 plus 
8, which is going to be 29. And so Q1 is going to be equal to 29, and the value of the first quartile will be 29. Okay, so this gets us our first quartile. Now, we could do the same thing, and let's look for our third quartile. And we, so we're looking for the 75th percentile, or Q3. And so we've got 75 divided by 100. We'll find the rank first. And so we get 0.75 times 6, which is 4.5 plus 1, which is going to equal 5.5. And so what we're looking for now is uh, a point that is half the distance from the fifth observation to the sixth observation. So 1, 2, 3, 4, here's the fifth observation, 50, here's the sixth observation, 90, and we want a point that's somewhere in here, that's going to be Q3. Okay? And so now that we know that our, our, our uh, third quartile value is half the distance between the fifth and sixth observation, we can use the same method that we used with the the 25th percentile, and we can figure out what that distance is going to be. Uh, we take the, it will be 1 half, or 0.5 times, and now we'll subtract from the 6th observation, 90. We'll subtract the 5th observation, 50, and we come up with a 20. Okay, 90 minus 50 is 40 multiplied by 0 0.5 gives us point, uh, gives us 20. And so now to find um, Q3, the third quartile, we would take the fifth observation, right, because we're halfway between the fifth and the sixth. So we'll start with the fifth observation. We'll take 50 plus 20, and that'll give us 70. And so the Q3 is going to be not 73, it's going to be 70. And so now we know that the first quartile is 29, the third quartile is 70. Well, why did I leave the second quartile out of this? I didn't go through the second quartile. And the reason why I did that is because the second quartile is very easy. Um, if you're looking for the 50th percentile, or Q2 in this case, um, that would be 50 divided by 100 times 7 minus 1 plus 1, and that is actually going to be equal to 7 minus 1 is 6 times 1 half is 3 plus 1 is 4. We're looking for the fourth observation, so 1, 2, 3, 4, the fourth value in the rank ordered list. This is going to be Q2, which is 45, right? So Q2 is going to be equal to 45. We didn't have to figure out, we didn't have to use this interpolation method to solve for it. So we know now that Q1 is 29, Q2 is 45, and Q3 is 70. And in this array of seven observations, these three values separate this distribution into four equal parts or quartiles.